So I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, just push Uh-oh. back. <laughs> I'm going to ask. I've got. Yeah, you know, I'm going to ask all the questions. I like to say that people are either too ashamed to ask, or too scared to ask, or too embarrassed to ask, or whatever. But I, I, we, I get a lot of these questions. I'm sure you get them as well. So, um, do I need a Windows laptop, Linux laptop, or Mac, or doesn't it matter? Well, if you're running virtual machines, it doesn't really matter. So if you're running virtual machines, your host system, okay, the, the physical system that you're running on, it doesn't matter if it's a Mac, if it's a Windows or Linux system, because you're all going to have these, these virtual machines inside of that operating system. So I would say it doesn't matter. I will say this, just I'm, I'm sure this will be, will, be, uh, will be asked or commented below. With the M1s and M2s, it gets a lot more complicated. I don't know if you've used them, but I have them and it, it becomes a nightmare. So um, I would personally say rather get an Intel or something else because there's issues running VMs on an on a M1, M2 at the moment because you have to okay. use ARM. Um, you can't use like all the Intel x86 stuff on, on M1s, M2s. I didn't know that. I don't run Mac, so that, that's why. <laughs> yeah, and then, so, I mean, I've, so I'm actually, I've got a... A lot of my students do, and they've never expressed to me any problems, but I I don't run Mac at all. So I run Windows and I run Linux, so... Yeah, so you run Linux natively. Um, I'm assuming that's when you're doing attacks, like proper stuff, and then you run yes. Windows for like demos and like teaching exactly. and stuff, right? Yeah. Exactly, yep. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll... Sorry, go on. Well, thanks for putting that out there. I didn't know that there was a problem with the M1s and M2s. In my experience, and this is just my opinion, so, you know... It, Please comment below anyone who's, who's found it otherwise. But the only way that you can get it to work kind of is like you can use something called UTM, which is a, like a free QMU emulator if you want to run x86 on um, on Mac M1 M2s. Uh, if you use a VMware Fusion, um, which is like virtual, sorry, which is like VMware Workstation Player or Pro, um, you need to use Intel. And Parallels allows you to virtualize as well, but you're stuck with... Um, um, so you can't use Intel, sorry, you can't use um, x86 or 64, x64 on um, on M1, M2 very easily. You have to emulate that and it uh, doesn't work very well. So yeah, my recommendation would be, I don't think M1s, M2s are there yet. So I would avoid a Mac if you want to do a lot of VM stuff. Because a lot of the VMs that you can download from, you know, um, different places, um, you're going to be wanting to run x86 or uh, 64. Sorry, go on. Yes. So that new M1, M2 is the one that Apple has built based upon the ARM architecture. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you can get, you can get Kali, uh, ARM version of Kali, but a lot of people have said that even, even though you can get it to run and it runs fine, some of the apps still don't work as well because some of the apps weren't written originally for ARM. My recommendation, if we get to that part, is that one, as a pen tester hacker, you don't run Apple. But that's that's a different story versus creating a, a testing environment. Like a lab. Right? Yeah. right. I would I strongly recommend, because the Apple operating system is is proprietary, okay, and, and it's, it's opaque, there are certain applications that require access to the operating system that simply don't work well in an Apple environment. Some people will say the same about Windows, right? Oh, I would definitely say that about Windows. <laughs> so in other words, what you're saying is you're going to go bare metal for Linux, yeah, for for like real real deployments and stuff, right? If you want to make sure that all of your Kali applications work as they should, it should either be Linux bare metal or Linux in a virtual machine. but You can't run, I don't think you can run all, I know you can't run all the applications in an Apple or a Windows environment and have them work. And the last thing you want as a hacker is to not understand why something doesn't work. And it might just be your operating system. So, you know, you're you're going through and things aren't working, things aren't working, and you're trying to diagnose why they're not working. You don't want to add the complexity that it's the operating system won't let you do that. I strongly recommend using any other operating system other than Linux, okay, for hacking and pen testing. Although I have seen people running Macs in pen testing environments, and I always scratch my head when I see that. It's like, you know, that's, I don't recommend it. I've never seen a Windows, I never seen Windows in a pen testing environment, but I have seen Macs, and I don't recommend it. Either one of them. It, it has to be a Linux environment if you want to make certain 
that your applications are going to work as they're designed. So th th let me just summarize, if I understand correctly, you would run Linux in a VM um, for, for labs and Linux bare metal for de for real deployment, right? Or you, yes, you, that's, that's, that's my recommendation. Yeah. That's my recommendation is that you run Kali in, a, in different versions of Kali. It doesn't matter which, in my opinion, doesn't matter which one you use. There's going to be different strengths and, and weaknesses to the different versions of Kali. You know, the, the latest Kali isn't necessarily the best Kali. You know, some of the older Kalis have features that work even better than the new Kalis do. All right. And you can go all the way back to the old backtracks. And, and they had features that, um, in some cases, work better than the new Kali's. But yeah, for a pen testing environment, hacking, run it bare metal. For training purposes, you can run Kali in a virtual machine and, uh, and hone your skills there before you go out into the real world. I like what you said, though. You know, if you've, I think if you've got a Mac already for whatever reason, then you can build a lab. And it, it works. I find it works fine on Intel, even though I have had issues sometimes with networking with VMware on um, on um, Mac Intel. Um, we we all have problems with with yeah. networking, no matter what the yeah. platform is, right? Yeah, and then, um, I, but I really I really like the suggestion. You know, go you, you you can start. So if you've got a if you've got a Mac or if you've got a Windows, then you can start. Um, if you haven't got a laptop, I love what you said about like just buy something. It's not the hardware that's important. It's you as a person.